Hey guys, I uh, got for sale Minolta eBay Minolta Auto Pack 8 D10. Uh, camera made from uh, around 69 to 73. Super 8 camera. It was uh, like uh, what you would call some of a professional camera back then. I think the BBC actually used them for reporting. Uh, original hard case. Open it up. It's in really good shape. And there is everything right there. Okay, so you have uh, three battery packs here. And so they go down in here. I've got one battery pack here. Two battery packs. Three battery packs. Now I'm going to leave this one in here. We're going to put on the intervalometer. Intervalometer just slides right up here. It's just a physical clamp. And then you have to plug it in with the short cable. There you go. So this requires, I'm going to turn it off. This requires pulling the trigger, just pull it straight out, replacing it with the intervalometer trigger. There's a pin down here on the bottom for the slot. That plugs in right there. And then this plugs into the side. Make sure the pins align. There's only one way it can plug in. Make sure it's fully seated. Okay, turn it on, set it to single frame. There's a switch up here. I'm going to set it at one frame every half second. And I'm going to turn it on. Oh, okay. Got to put the battery pack in there. So you'll have a battery pack. And the handle, and you'll have a battery pack and intervalometer. Boom, turn it on. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Do it. That's one one frame every half second. So that's two frames a second. Here's one frame every second. Turn that off. One frame every two seconds. Turn that off. One frame every four. Trying to keep this video short, so I'm not going to do, handle the rest of them, but it also does one frame every 8 seconds, every 15 seconds, every 30 seconds, and every minute. One frame a minute. Every, one frame every 60 seconds. Uh, don't have enough time to do that, but uh, intervalometer works, so I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to pull the battery power. Stick it back in this receptacle, pull its cable. Now, uh, I have an extension cable that plugs in to the camera, just like the intervalometer and just like the trigger did. That goes here, and then I plug in 
the regular switch to the end of the cable like this. So now I'm going to take it off a single frame. In order to use the interbolometer, you have to have single frame on SF. And so now when I turn it on, I got it in 18 frames a second. That's your remote. Uh, it's a nice long cable. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and turn this off. Unplug this. Put the switch back on there. Turn it on. Now, high speed. Going to turn it off. Has its own built in cable. All it is is an extra battery pack that handles, if I'm not mistaken, uh, seven batteries. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven AA batteries extra you need. So you have the batteries there in the handle and the batteries in the high speed pack. Slide it upon the little shoe up top, gets it nice and out of the way. Take the cable, plug it in underneath where it says use for high speed, 32 to 50 frames per second. Line up the pins. Push it all the way home. And so now I got it at 24 frames. 52, that's 32, and 50. Batteries may be a little bit weak. There we go. That's 50, 32, 24, 18, 12. So uh, that's with the high speed pack, so it does work. Uh, if you have a little bit of problem, all you do is unplug and plug the cable several times and it cleans up the connectors in there and it works just fine. Um, this uh, battery pack was nice and clean on it, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, unplug, slide it off, put it back in there, and the forehead goes right there. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. And it's a little bayonet mount for the lens cap. Just press the buttons, squeeze the buttons on the side, put it on there, boom, just like that. It's a nice clean camera. I think it'll be hard pressed to find one like this. It's in really good shape. Uh, you have different zoom speeds. Let me make sure everything is on. That's the zoom. And then uh, zoom speed, you can make it faster. And slower. Going to set it in the middle. This, if I'm not mistaken, is to open and close the shutter. Uh, there's your, uh, how many feet you've burned. This is to open and close the, um, the eyepiece right there. So you don't have light leakage coming in through there. If you want to, you can close it up. Boom. Boom. And um, full instructions. Got the owner's manual here. Full owner's manual. And get this. Got a depth of field chart. So that should cover it. Uh, it's for sale. eBay. A uh, bit often. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye. One quick one thing I wanted to show you on the Sada Pack 8D10. Uh, one of the backward battery packs uh, gets a little wonky sometimes. Uh, the connectors are right here, and then also you, you have that's where it hooks up to the battery to the uh, camera, and then you have the connectors in here. Uh, if it's uh, creating a little bit of problems with you, just take the batteries and spin them to just turn the batteries a little bit uh, just to make sure you have a good contact metal to metal. And, uh, like you know, this thing was built in the early 70s. And then also, one other thing you could try, and for some reason, I don't know why this works, 
but if you put the battery pack in with the camera upside down and then turn it a little bit because there's two pins down here and they contact this. Now only one battery pack is giving me problems and it, when it works, it works fine until you pull it out and then you can put it back in and it won't work. But if you take it and spin it and maybe turn the batteries and then screw everything down, it works. So the other ones work fine. Use fresh batteries. Uh, one thing, that's it. It's a nice looking piece. Nice clean lens. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. But yeah, the lens is clean as a whistle. Uh, I've always kept a filter over mine. I bought this in the late 80s. So I bought it when it was 15 years old. And I'm selling it now. It was built, like I said, between 69 and 73 as far as the internet can tell me. Alright, good luck. Hope it finds a good home. Thank you.